All right, back for another few rounds of data boxing with Oscar Bonavena against Alexander Povetkin. We're in the third round now. Uh, if you want to see the setup for this fight or the first two rounds, I refer to the previous two videos. Uh, unlike the last video, I promise to try to uh, keep the player cards uh, within the camera view screen this time. I'll be keeping an eye on that. And one other thing I did that I mentioned out as a mistake. At one point I said that Bovetkin had scored six points uh, towards reducing this uh, TKO resistance. I don't compare it. Uh, I would only compare this against the 18 if I was getting close to scoring 18 points in a round. Uh, that would be a TKO. What I really meant to say was that these six points are halfway towards uh, one-third of his TKO rating, which means he would start to lose some effectiveness. Um, and in the second round, uh, Bonavena caught up, so we're just going to get into the third round action, as always, uh, in this fight at least so far. Uh, Pavetkin will uh, lead the round for round three. Uh, in a 12-round fight, there are only um, seven exchanges for this round. And for round three, Pavetkin will have still plus one power rating that he can use, but Bonavena won't, and a control rating he can use. He didn't get to use it in the second round. Maybe he'll get luckier in the uh, third round. So off we go. Right away, Pavetkin scores two points and a possible injury. So we roll on the defensive card of Bonavena. A nine is a blank, so no injury. So only two points for Pavetkin, but he will hold on to control. He rolled a 10. So this round... This is his control rating. There's a diamond there. He has that plus one control. So that 10 means he doesn't score any points, but he doesn't lose, lose his turn to Bonavena. So we mark off one exchange, and Pavetkin gets to roll again. This is a 15. That is a miss. So finally, Bonavena will get to go. Bonavena, a 12. That's a miss. Pavetkin, 13. Scores a point. And now he only has three exchanges left. So we're going to use his power rating now. And that gives him another 13. So he scores another point. And can, uh, hangs on to it. This is a good round for Pavetkin. And he rolled a 16 on his card. That says 2. But if you'll remember, because of Bonavena's defensive rating of B, we adjusted that at the beginning of this fight. So a 16 on this card gets reduced from 2 to 1. And I want to keep track here as I'm going, and he uses an exchange. Uh, if I hit, if I hit um, this 12 in the middle of a round, he's at 11 right now, that TKO resistance would start to go down uh, for Bonavena right away. Uh, one exchange left. And a 15, that's a miss, but that ends the round. That was a great round for uh, Pavetkin. The judges will all see that one for him. So we'll carry the running points total. You'll see he's only one point away from 12. And we'll go right into round four. So there is uh, seven exchanges again. Pavetkin will lead. Now he does not have any power and control ratings for this round. So off he goes. He rolled uh, 
13. That is one point. That makes 12 points against Bonavena. That matches one third of his TKO rating. So what we're going to do is note up here in the top corner that his TKO resistance has dropped from 18 to 17 and he'll also be subject to uh, losing uh, uh, having his power blows canceled as he starts to uh, get tired. Pavetkin scored a point so he'll roll again. He rolled a nine that's a blank. Bonavena rolls a 10 that's a diamond but he doesn't have any control rating. Pavetkin, 11, nothing. Bonavena, 11, nothing. Pavetkin with uh, 15, that is nothing. Bonavena with... Nine, it was a nine. Doesn't matter if it was a nine or a ten, nothing for him. Twelve, nothing. Settle down there, dice. Twelve, nothing. That is a 14 for Pavetkin. That will score two points. Any control stays in control. And an 11. That ends the round. So after uh, the fourth round, he has now scored 11 plus three more 14. And Bonavena hasn't landed a punch on him in the last two rounds. For round five, we're going to go back up to nine exchanges. And this is how fast data boxing can go. Nine for Pavetkin. Nothing. Since you're not referring to any outside charts, it can go just as fast as you can roll the dice. A nine is nothing. Uh, 14 for Pavetkin is two points. He's now at 16. He's going to have to get to 24 to knock down his resistance again. And Pavetkin... Seven is nothing. I already moved it. Sorry. Bonavena, ten. He has no control rating, so that diamond doesn't help him. Eleven is nothing. Uh, Fourteen for Bonavena. This is... An N1 and a 2. So Bonavena is going to get two points. He has not uh, knocked down. Uh, he has not knocked down Pavetkin yet. So this N1 is uh, active. If it had been an N2 requiring one or more knockdowns, it would not have been active. But N1 is active. So we're going to have to roll on the defensive side for Pavetkin. We rolled a 10, so there's no match, so there's no knockdown, just a two-point uh, score for Bonavena. And then uh, Bonavena stays in control, gets an 11, nothing. Pavetkin, 15, nothing. Seven for Bonavena. That is a weight, so that's half a point. Now he's getting very close to 
the tenant will be required to lower Pavetkin's TKO resistance. He's got six and a half plus two and a half. He's got nine points against him, and he's still going to hang on to uh, control here. Bonavena has uh, seven, so he's going to do a little juking and jiving. I'm sorry, I used a slash for a half point. He's really close now. He's at nine and a half points. And a six lunges. That's another half point. So now he's got three and a half points plus six and a half points. That's going to knock, uh, that'll add up to 10. So this TKO resistance is going to go from 15 to 14. Bonavena getting his uh, revenge this round. Bonavena with a 13 scores another point. And a 12. Nothing. So, at the end of round 5, uh, Pavetkin scored 2 points. He's at 16. Uh, two, three, four and a half, plus six and a half is 11. All right, we had six and a half, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, eleven. So that was a good round for Bonavena. I think I'm, well... I'm going to do one more round. So round six has eight exchanges. So you've seen each fighter's TKO resistance go down. Um, I'm probably not going to show all the rest of the rounds. I'll probably just uh, go offline for round seven, eight, nine, and then come back for 10, 11, 12. By then, somebody may be close to hitting three-thirds of their TKO resistance. So round... Six with eight exchanges. Pavetkin leads. Seven, nothing. And like any sports game that you play, after a while, you'll uh, you'll learn what the good rolls are, like the sixty-six in Apo or a nine four. Yeah, there's a miss. Bonavina six scores a half a point with that lunge. Hangs on to control. Six lunges again. Another half point. He's up to 12 against them. Ten. No controls yet, so he loses control to Pavetkin. Pavetkin, 13, scores a point. He's up to 17 against. Ah. Eight. Pavetkin moves in. That's a half a point for him. They're making sure the cards are still in view. <laughs> Povetkin misses with a six. Ooh, Bonavena with a 17. What is that? That's going to be interesting. Okay, he scores one point for sure. And he has a potential cut against Povetkin. So we'll roll on Povetkin's... Defensive side, 10 is a blank. That's nothing. But that uh, one point is enough for Bonavena to hang on to the control. With a six, a lunge. This is where Bonavena is outboxing him with a little bit. Uh-oh. Bonavena with a uh, three. All right, this is the big one. So there's a K, a TKO, an N2, and a cut. 
The Ed 2 uh, does not count because he has not knocked down Povetkin yet. So only the K, TKO, and cut. And again, K means K0 in this case. A K is a shorthand for having K0 and K1 on the same line. Uh, so on Povetkin's uh, defensive card, I'm going to be looking for cut. I'm going to be looking for TKO, or I'm going to be looking for uh, K0 or K. And we roll a 10, so that's a blank. Now, there is a rule that says if you miss a power blow like we just did, and there are no other points on that line, you score a half point for that, and you hang on to control. So Bonavena will retain control. This is turning out to be another good round for him. 10 is a miss because he doesn't have a control rating. 8, Pavetkin gets half a point. And he moves in. So Pavetkin hangs on to it. Rolls a 12, which is a miss. Bonavena with a 14. So he's still trying to get that knockout. But he does get two points there. And let's see. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He hasn't reached 20 yet. But he's getting close. And he has an N1. So there's a potential for a knockdown here. We'll roll on Pavetkin. So far he's been lucky and seen to roll 10 every time this comes up. Close enough. A 9. So that knockout blow doesn't happen. As I said, I figured this fight would go the distance because these guys um, are both very hard to uh, knock out. And Bonavena finishes the round with an 11. So in this round, we'll have to give that round again to Bonavena. Uh, Pavetkin scores two points. He's up to 18. He's looking for 24 to knock this TKO resistance down another peg. And uh, Bonavena has scored one, two, three, four, five points up to 16. I guess I am going to do round seven. The reason I'm going to do round seven is that Pavetkin has a negative power roll for uh, uh, round seven, which means that he actually gives away a power roll to Bonavena for this round. So round seven we see has nine exchanges. Uh, Pavetkin will still lead the round. Pavetkin rolls a... Sorry, that was a six. Just double-checking to make sure the cards were still in view. Bonavena rolls a four. He scores two points. He's at 18, very close to 20. And he hangs on to uh, control. Again, I'm going to hold on to this power rating for Bonavena a little while longer. See if he can tie it up with something good. And my dice won't stop spinning. And all that for a 15, which is a miss. Pavetkin, 11. Miss. Bonavena, 17. Scores a point. We're at 19. And a possible cut. Pavetkin has been very slippery so far. Has not had anything bad happen to him. But this time his luck doesn't hold. So we can see here that uh, this was matched by a cut on Pavetkin's defense with a 12. So he actually got cut. That counts for two points. And uh, I mark cuts with a C. And even though Bonavena's uh, TKO resistance has gone down by one, 
cuts are not uh, and injuries are not subject to getting uh, reduced uh, from uh, lowering TKO resistance. But these five points pushes this up to 21, which means that he's hit uh, 20 points twice of Povetkin's uh, TKO rating. So his TKO resistance is now down to 13, which means it would only take 13 points of damage in a single round. And uh, we'll move that one. I think that's right. Yep, three to none. Okay. Now's a good time to, uh, I think, just because I feel Bonavena smells uh, blood in the water. But it doesn't help him. He gets a 12. That's a, uh, oops, that's a miss. So that's something going to have to try to get back in this fight soon. Uh, 12 won't help him there. That's a miss. Bonavena 11, miss. Povetkin 9, that's a miss. Uh, 12, that's a miss. Fifteen, that's a miss. Nine, that's a miss. Six is a miss. And Bonavina will close out round seven. With a twelve, nothing. So at the end of... Uh, seven rounds, Bonavane is running totals up to 21. And now it's uh, Pavetkin who got blanked in that round. Though the referee would give him a half a point for being a better boxer, a C plus, if that helps him. But uh, right now, I think this fight is leaning a little towards uh, Bonavena. He lost this round and lost this round. Uh... And lost this round, so he's lost three rounds, but it looks like he won the second, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. So right now I see Bonavena ahead four rounds to three. Anything can happen here. Um, you'll see that uh, Pavetkin's closer to uh, losing a third TKO rating before uh, Bonavena has even lost a second TKO resistance. So we'll end there uh, for this video. Seven rounds done, five rounds to go. Hope this has been instructive. Thanks.